Right, Rob, big news this year. Obviously, the South African Cup's coming over. Um, it's not new for Irish clubs. I'm just wary of how can, what, what can I tell my French mates basically, how to prepare, what can they expect, what would they learn from all of this? Yeah, I think, Ben, you're probably right to be a little bit wary uh, at the start of the competi competition, you or see. The South African teams weren't performing really well, they were down towards the bottom. But as you know, they made an incredible turnaround towards the end of the season and they both ultimately ended up in the final you're going to be presented with big teams, which is something that obviously the French are used to. Um, but you've got strong, explosive players who can also play at a very quick pace as well. They want to try and keep the ball in play time really high. They'll try to avoid the French teams slowing the game down. So it's, it's going to be a new dimension for the French rugby teams. And, you know, I'm really excited to see how they go with it. Well, you tell me if it's a fair comment, but France obviously have been doing well, well the French clubs have been doing well uh, in the recent years in, in, in the Champions Cup. But it's also, it's like a step before international rugby, right? So you want to challenge yourself against the best teams and that's why playing Leinster was such a treat. But now if you have those South African teams, it's, it's that step before international level is even bigger, even tougher. So if anything, it might push France to be even more um, sort of, well, uh, having this level that will allow them to expand their, their player their player ambition and their player skills to reach even further. Do you think the French teams can be even better because of that? Yeah, I, I think so. Now, you know, historically with this competition, we've seen some of the teams not commit to the Heineken Cup as much as potentially they should have. It just means that if this is a competition they're serious about actually winning, they're going to have to commit to it from the very first round. Um, because there's not going to be too many easy games in there. So if you're a team who's committed to winning the Heineken Cup and you want to get to the very end, you've got to hit the ground running from really, really early on. So Ben, we know the French teams have been so unbelievably dominant in this competition over the last few years. What's the secret for them? Uh, I think you just pointing out, pointed it out. They, there's just a general increase of how much they care about it, how much they want to put all their resources and all their focus on it. I mean, look, you, you, you know that Leinster would start a season and that was the number one target, right? And they would put absolutely everything in place. And then you saw it with Clermont, with the likes of Toulouse, with Racing towards the end. But now everybody's like that. La Rochelle have fallen in love with that competition. Maybe because of John O'Gibbs and Roland O'Gara, maybe, you know, they put putting seeds of it in it. But everybody is like that. And, and that's why it's the importance. Not just one big home game and then forget about the rest. It really is putting absolute focus on it. Maybe the only team that hasn't done it so far is Montpellier. But now that they're French champions and they've got this burning off their shoulders, you can actually focus on being uh, bigger, brighter things. They will be, they will be up for it next year. So it's clearly what you said. It's the focus is actually applying of putting all your resources for that competition. And yeah, I think when French teams really get behind this competition, it makes it a far greater spectacle. 100%. So how exciting is it going to be? No, I, I couldn't agree more. Uh, look, we, we all we all love those tough games, those incredible games. But you you need everybody to be focused on it. Because uh, otherwise, it's just a bit, a bit dull, a bit. Uh, it's not the same taste, right? So we have this. Everybody's up for it, and you bring some South African teams. I mean, it's, it, it is proper exciting. Can't wait.